I am truly honored to stand before you all and accept this prestigious task. And a big thank you to the UNICEF team for choosing me for such a meaningful role. I would also like to thank Mr. Job Zakaria and Mr. Sugata Roy from the UNICEF for all their support. A special thank you to Ms. Nirmala for gracing us here with her presence this morning. I look at the list of UNICEF advocates and I can only think that this honor is fortuitous for me. And this is a reminder I will bear as long as I continue to serve. As part of this felicitation, I was requested to share my thoughts on children's rights and what it means to be a UNICEF advocate. Please bear with me and I promise to keep it as short as possible. The cause of children is very close to me, as Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru said. Children are the future of the country. The children of today will make the India of tomorrow. The way we bring them up will determine the future of this country. Therefore, to be part of UNICEF, which focuses exclusively on issues relating to children, is extremely gratifying for me. Convention on the Rights of the Child is an international legal agreement or treaty that recognizes specific rights for children. Rights are entitlements every child should have. All children have the same rights. Right to survival, right to development, right to protection, and right to participation. Today, on World Children's Day, we should aim to empower our children to take over and come together to speak out on the issues that are most important to them. This is a day for children, by children. It is a day when children around the world should raise their voices. For every child under the age of five who dies needlessly from preventable causes, for every child who misses out on a chance to learn, for every child affected by violence and poverty, for every child who lives in conflict and crisis, for every child who is a victim of discrimination, abuse, and violence. We can be that change for every child. In recent decades, we've seen immense progress for children. The number of ch children dying before their fifth birthday has more than halved in the past 25 years. Hundreds of millions of children have been lifted out of poverty. More children are now in school than ever before. But despite immense progress, many children are being left behind because of their gender, race, religion, ethnic group or disability, because they live in poverty or in hard to reach communities, or simply because they are children. Today, 28 years since the adoption of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child, 16,000 children under five years old still die from preventable diseases. 50 million children remain uprooted from their homes, 28 million of whom are forced to, take, to flee violent conflicts not of their making. 264 million children and adolescents still do not and will not attend school. 300 million wake up breathing toxic air and millions still suffer from violence. We still have a long way to go. We should keep walking till we achieve goals set for our children. But it should be done before it's too long. Failing to do so will hit us all severely. None of us can afford to neglect our children. Our future and the present stands with them. As a UNICEF supporter and advocate, I would like to create more awareness on health, education, nutrition and protection of children, especially the adolescents and the youth in Tamil Nadu and Kerala. I would support the efforts of the Tamil Nadu state government to make the state malnutrition free and open defecation free. I would lend my support in the efforts to reduce anemia, child marriage, child labor, and to promote education. If there is a magic bullet in social sector, it is girls' education. If all girls attend school up to 18 years, we can eliminate child marriage and child labor. In the long run, 
Girls' education will also contribute to reduction of maternal and infant mortality and malnutrition among children. We need to protect our adolescent girls from anemia. If anemia is eliminated, concentration of students will improve and they will, be, they will be able to score higher marks in board examinations. For this, we need to promote the intake of iron-rich foods and consumption of weekly iron tablets, which are given free in our schools. We also need to protect our children from increasing violence and abuse against them. This life has been blessed and given me so much. It is my turn to be a blessing and give back. I promise to do my best as a UNICEF celebrity supporter and advocate and support them through all their interventions. I would like to conclude with a quote from Mother Teresa. I can do things you cannot. You can do things I cannot. But together we can do great things. Thank you all so much.